Yes, folks, you are watching Ezra Ondara TV. My name is Ezra Ondara. Now, do you have a project, you know, somewhere that you would like to see the progress? You know, perhaps you are far and, uh, you know, you would just like to see the progress of the work on the ground. Uh, if that's the case, especially for diaspora people, you know, sometimes unatuma pesa nyumbani, unambiwa oto, linunua mawe, Sasa tulichimba kisima, alafu tukanunua ngombe. Ehe, we unapewa tu story lakini ujui kama ni ukweli. Ehe, ukiwambewa kutumie picha, wanaenda wanapiga picha ngombe za wenyewe. Wanaenda wanapiga picha nyumba ya wenyewe. Wewe unatumia hiyo picha sasa ndo unambiwa sasa. Ehe, hapa ndo tumefika. <laughs> and we know we have had stories of such cases which have not ended up well. Okay? Sasa ukitaka kuwa sure ya project yako pale kwa ground mambo inaendelea shwari unanituma mimi pale kwa ground na kupigia service mzuri na kuchukulia videography hapo vizuri na kuja na kuondia ka movie ya like I just go all around the place alafu na kupatia movie yako pale vizuri unaangalia vile kazi iliendelea kwa ground ama sio ni service mzuri sana you know, like I'm um, like your third eye. Sasa, kama hapa, what you are seeing on the screen, hapa nilikuwa mahali na itu wa Gilgil, na this client alintuma pale kwa ground. Kaniambia Ezra, ebu enda pale bana. Make sure, you know, le, I mean, I want to see kwamba uh, what ile zile picha wamekua kintumia, you know, even do mambo iko pale kwa ground. Unawana. So, uh, hapa niko mahali na itu wa Gilgil, Oh, hapa niko kwa you know some farm in Gilgil this is a 1 acre parcel of land iko mahali hapa Gilgil uh, and uh, yeah so this person anafanya ukulima yake pale na pia amejenga nyumba pale na pia pale kwa farm ukiangalia vizuri utaona there is a vehicle pale hiyo vehicle ni ya kufanya drilling ya bohol okay so that uh, wanatafuta maji pale chini and uh, hopefully, uh, watapata maji, and then, nyumba kama hii, jameni, boma kama hii, none of these guys will be self-contained. Maji ko, you know, they are on a cliff pale with great views of Lake Elementaita. Wow, 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 wow. This is going to be a wonderful place. So the plan happened to Elizabeth. Kwani, why did you decide to come, you know, uh, up here? <laughs> on the cliff on the opposite side of Lake Elementaita. So Kanyambia they were looking for a place they can be coming, you know, for a holiday. You know, I'm a holiday home. Na pia pale, of course, kuna watu pale kwa ground, you know, wanafanya farming pale kwa farm yao. But occasionally, on a weekend, you know, on a holiday, on a holiday season, au wanakuja tu pale, wanapika kambuzi pale kwa ground, yani wanakaa tu wapu ivo, away from the hustle and bustle of the city. Kama saizi vile Christmas in Karibia, well, uh, their project by now, aita kwa ready by Christmas, but next Christmas, I'm sure they will, they will be spending quality time there. No, no. So, if you have a project, you know, that you will want to inspect, you know, that you want to even, you know, see uh, the views from above, okay? Views to vizuri pale. Ba, sasa mimi hapo, that is where I come in. Mimi nafika pale na kupigia videography safi, which is what I call real estate videography. And I explained this in another video. 
this particular client eh, alinyalao, alisema Ezra me I have no problem you can even share my content pale you know you can use my footage there is no problem so ndo nimesema leo wacha ni muonyeshe example ya ile kazi ambayo mimi ufanya when I'm doing real estate videography sawa sawa kama hii hapa so baada ya kupiga pale ma area footage now uh, you know I sasa na, na nini I, 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 I start doing what I call, you know, the, the, the ground footage sasa, okay? Na hiyo ni kutembea kila mahali, kila kona, hiyo boma. So, uh, yeah, this is what you are, you, 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 you are watching, okay? Sasa natembea kwa hiyo boma, alright? From corner to corner, so that, uh, you know, tuweze kuangalia. Ama client aweze kuona kazi kwaaje pale kwa ground. And sometimes you may still have, you know, folks on the ground, maybe unawambia no kupigia picha, but you see, they may not be, you know, as professional. <laughs> kuna moja li niambia, Ezra, kuna picha ni mepigiwa hapo, lakini sioni kama ninaona zile vitu nataka kuona vizuri. So, can you go there, eh, you as a, you know, as a videographer, enda pale sasa, nilete content mzuri nione, nipigie pia picha. Okay, so, I mean, this package ina comes na videos na picha pia. Unaona kama hapa sana wanyesha iyo garden yake hapo. You know, garden ya mboga hapo. Alafu, tukienda pale mbele, kuna, kuna mali hapo, kuna mbuzi. You know, aya, hapo ni cattle shed. Okay, ngomba zijakuja bado, but that is the cattle shed. Apo, uh, kuneza kuwa na ngombe kama ngapi, karibu tano hivi, labda, I'm just imagining. Okay. Aya, lafu wapo, hey, hey, kwa hapa ndani. Unaona hapo vile kuna hey. Unaona vile hamejis ame talk. <laughs> For now, yoni ya mbuzi. Lakini, ya, yeah, ndo hizo mbuzi zake hapo. You know, folks, kwanza saizi bana, people are going into farming. Okay, people are really going into farming and the future millionaires are farmers actually. Okay, because hata vile rais anasema ati watu, you know, the future is urban, anataka watu wende town, watu wote wakishi town, watatawa api chakula. Si lazima kutakuwa na few farmers ambao watawa providea chakula. Hizi kuku ziliniona hapo, zikaanza kutoroka, ziliogopa kamera. Eh, yeah, unona zilikuwa hapo inja asa, the moment ziliniona tu hivi, zikaanza kutoroka. <laughs> All right, so, but there, I mean, there is something I learned here, Ileni Fresha Sana, the design ya nyumba za ujama. Okay, the design of the house za ujama, Ileni Fresha Sana. Nivile zilikuwa na vitu ndani, you know, stock, hapa na pale, rangi, nini, lakini one day, akimaliza, tena antakuja ni mpigie tuwa ingine mzuri sasa, kama hata kuna hizi chuma hapo kwa ground, you know, at least, at least to, Asa tuone the finished product. Unaona. Lakini asa kama hapo. Izo ni chuma za drilling ya bohol. Zilikuja zika mwago hapo. Right. Thank you. Unaona ndo hii asha weka hapo ya maji. Hapa na pale. Kutoka hapo sasa kwa, kwa compound ya nyumba. Sasa nikienda sasa to the farm itself. Okay. Hapo ni kitchen ya workers. Mafundi wanapikia hapo. <coughs> so shamba ya ujama na mna hiyo. Apo alikuwa mepanda tumaragwe. Alright. Apo ni latrine ya inje. Washa chimba already. You see? Apo ni latrine. Okay. Yeah, so this is the kind of work, you know, I will do for you. Nona, mimi nitapiga tua shamba yote. Nona, kila mahali. Alafu kuna miti hapo amepanda. Okay, along that line kuna miti. I'm imagining uh, th zitakuwa, zitakuwa nini, when they grow tall, kutakuwa na bari mzuri sana hapo, you know, uh, from the home, uh, I mean, between the home na the farm. So, I'm panda miti hapo along the farm, you know, along the, the edges pale za farm. Kuna miti hapo, uh, ya piping doi amefanya hapo for irrigation. I mean, this guy, nilienda pale maze ni kona, hey, in the next one, two years, hey, hii shamba, it will be different. Itakuwa sasa ina flourish. Hii miti itakuwa imemea, manguashe, alikuwa mepanda pale, mananasi, you know, mandizi, matoke, that is, zote. 
Hmm? So folks, this is the kind of work ambayo naweza kufanyia pale. Hiyo ni mti ya maembe. And folks, I mean this is what I've been saying. Unaona? Hata in your compound, hata kama ni 50 by 100 jameni. Uacheni kupanda miti ya SID, unapanda tu miti. Panda miti kwa farm at least hata in future, hata ukienda pale kwa boma, unapata maembe imemea, mananasi iko pale. Eh, hiyo ni mti ya maembe. Hasa ndio hiyo matoke. Along that line amepanda matoke. Folks, tunaelewana jameni. Wacha kuchukua eka ya ploti, alafu unapiga cabros kwa mpaundo mzima. Sasa hata muti utapanda wapi jameni. Hmm? Alafu pia ukipanda muti, panda miti ya maana, panda mapera, panda hiyo maembe, you know. Panda miti ya matunda. At least jameni hata years down the line, ukikaa pale unaenda unapanda juu ya, juu ya mti, unavuna matunda, you know. At least, I mean, ina, ina make sense na mna hiyo, no? na kuliko kupanda tu meaningless miti ambayo ina maana kabisa. Hmm? So this is the drilling vehicle up on the bohol in a chimbo hapo. Okay? Hapo sasa. So hopefully mazee tuta ni hopefully watapata maji. Nilikuwa nasema tutapata. Sasa I'm even feeling like I'm part of them. <laughs> but uh, yeah, hopefully uh, we will find water. Bas, unaona? Aha. Mhm. Miti ya matunda tu bado. Mm -hmm. Izo ni apples by the way Those are apples Those are wambogo apples Wambogo apples Iko mtu hapa mechikuwa apples toka kwako Na nduyo anapanda hapo pia Those are wambogo apples by the way These ones there Meona So now that is a farm Ndo hizi nguashe Izo ni nguashe Okay Those are sweet potatoes Ndo hizo hapo You see Farm ni achakula bana Si kuweka vitu zingine hata zisaidii kwa farm bana. Huh? Farm is for food. Si ndio? So folks, ndio hivyo sasa. Mimi ukinituma kazi kama hii, yani unajionea kama uko US, uko UK, uko Sweden, uko wapi, yani uko mbali na hiyo farm ama even your project, whether ni uh, ni apartment unajenga, eh? Ama ni farm kama hii, ndo hiyo mananasi. You know, I was talking about mananasi. Ndo hiyo mananasi hapo. Okay? That's what kintuma pale. Mi napiga a comprehensive tour around the farm. Alafu na kuletea footage pale. Okay? Izo ni nini? Avocado. The harsh avocados. Eh? Zile fupi. Miti yake ni fupi, lakini matunda yake ni mwa. Ona hata hii shanza kutoa matunda. Those are the harsh avocados. Okay? Ah, it was, I mean, it was wonderful to be there. Hata mimi mwenyewe, ili ni challenge actually. Ili, surely ili ni challenge sana. Kuona somebody with just one acre parcel. And in that one acre, kuna mananasi, kuna avocados, uh, nini, nini, ito nini hizi. Apples ndo hizo, nguashe ndo hizo, matoke ndo hiyo. That is a wonderful piece of land, bana. Hmm? Being put into proper use. Okay? Nilikuwa papaka nika imagine sasa 50 by 100 itakuwa aje jameni. Eh? I mean, when I was there, by the way, <laughs> although I market property up a 50 by 100 DTC, but when I was there, I was challenged. I was challenged. I felt like the ideal parcel of land for anyone. The ideal parcel of land is one acre kuenda juu. Kwa sasa ukiwa na 50 by 100, uwezi fanya hii maneno yiko hapa. Eh? I mean, I, I felt 50 by 100 ni limiting kidogo. I don't know, I mean, unajua the more you get exposed, the more you learn. So, mimi just going through, eh, kutembea I, I, nini, in this farm, I, I, I got challenged. I got challenged. Even the, the ambitions ambazo nilikuwa nazo za kunua 50 by 100, niliona hapana. You know? I I, I I I now have big ambitions, you know, of getting an acre, C50 by 100. Ay, folks, you have 50 by 100, you can only build that kaho mkuleju. Eh, na ubaki na parking up mbele. Ivo tu, if it is in town, you can only do a townhouse. If you go shago, sasa 50 by 100, you see, surely it becomes, it is too limiting. Speaking about an acre, I have one and a half acre of land which I advertised here. Uh, Mali Pale Lanet in Nakuru. 
mahali inaitwa Moronyo. Okay? I have one and I have acre of land. And uh, kama you have, you know, a dream of even replicating what this guy is doing here. Or even, you know, doing it your own way. You are one acre. Okay? Ii ya lanet tafadhali angalia yyo shamba vizuri. Carefully. Nikona yyo shamba hapo. The link is in the description. Uneza click pale wangalie. Iyo shamba ya lanet. Iyo shamba ya lanet. One and a half acre. Inauzwa 9.5 M. I brought it on this channel. I featured it right here. Just this week. If you want a proper place where you can do a lot. You see, imagine what one acre can do. No, no. This is just one acre. Kuna pale juu, mali kuna nyumba, alafu uku chini, you know, so una dedicate for farming. If you want a parcel like that, tafadhali, let us start talking about that property ambayo nili feature hapa. Uh, the precise location panaito Murunyu. Okay? E, Murunyu. Murunyu High School is the landmark. So you can imagine with an acre, you can do things like the nini, like what you are seeing there. Okay? Add that guy is even doing a bohol maze. Can you imagine? So, if you are looking for something of that sort, tafadhali ni DM or WhatsApp. And of course, look at the view of nini, eh, of that surrounding. It's all green. It's all green, maze. Eh? So, kiwa pala, by the way, on the opposite side, Kona Lake Elementaita. What kind of views fit is on the surrounding palette? They are on a hill. Okay? They, those guys are on a hill, bana. Ukiwa pale unona A104, iko kule chini the highway, na kuru Nairobi highway. Una yona kule chini. Then now in the distance, you see all the way to Lake Elementaita. So folks, if you are looking for a parcel ambayo uneza fanya fia, pia uneza fanya farming, uneza jenga nyumba, you know, ideal for settlement, for rearing, for farming, tafadhali, let's talk about that parcel which I featured on this channel. It is right there, Mahali Lanet, Kule Nyoma. Okay, it is just in between Lanet and Mawanga. Pale, sawa, sawa. So the landmark, ni Murunyu High School. This is the property. Tafadhali, let's start engaging on this one. Hata wewe jameni, ukwe na Mahali ambapo, I mean, you have all in one. Okay, you see like this farm hampa Gilgil, all in one. Maji kopale, mbuzi kopale, ngombe kopale, kuku kopale, everything kopale. Sawa, sawa. So if you have that kind of dream, okay, ambition, you know, talk to me about this one in Lanet. So up to that point, that is what I mean by real estate videography. Mimi unanituma tu, na mimi nenda pale na kuletea majibu kwa ground. Ndo watu tena wasikudanganya ati, oh yes, tulijenga nyumba, ehe, sasa tumefence, ehe, sasa mawe tumemuaga, na kumbe wanakopigia picha za mali ingine. <laughs> Walai wa Kenya tulifika aje tukakuwa wakora hivo. Imagine wa Kenya wanakua mpaka familia zao. Yani, your brother is away, your sister is away. Wa unamdanganya vile mmejenga nyumba, vile mmemuaga mchanga, vile mmemuaga simiti, mmeleta simiti mia, simiti ni amsini, vile mnamjengea four bedroom, kumbe ni three bedroom mmejenga. Aya, aya, wa Kenya tulifika aje. Yani, paka munaanza kukosea, your own, your own family people. Aya, 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 aya. Folks, mpaka hapo, subscribe to Ezra Ondara TV. See you in the next one. Kamu kuna project mahali na ukombali. Okay, you can't get there. Nata kama kuna watu kwa ground, awaji kupiga picture vile mi nitapiga, awaji kupiga video vile mi nitapiga. Tafadhali, nitume pale, ni kulete kazi yako, uyone live. Mpaka hapo, see you in the next one.